Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Hypnosis Hero. I'm hypnotist Jim Kellner, and I'm once again joined by my good friend, my sidekick, Brian Bay. Brian, how are you doing today? Living the dream, man. Happiest living Friday. The living the dream, somebody's, anyway. So, uh, <laughs> happy it's Friday. You know, I have no Fridays. Um, <laughs> You downside. just have you just have days that end with you asking why. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, if you're listening right now, drop a drop a comment. Let us know where you're listening from. There's Mark. Hello, Mark Barris, Huntington Beach, California. Um, hey, I want to uh, just let everybody know we've got a brand new name for the show. It's actually Brian's idea, so some of you may know um, that I released an app a while back. It's uh, right now. It's only available on Google Play. But uh, it will be on iOS soon, and uh, we we're talking about maybe renaming the show because we're going to start making it. Right now, we, we uh, air it on uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, and some other places. We're going to start uploading it as a uh, audio podcast as well. So you're going to be able to find it on um, Apple Music and Spotify and all of that. And so we're looking for a name, and Brian suggested we just name it after the app, so Hypnosis Hero. And then uh, each week... We're going to, uh, we have a, you know, as we've been doing, we have a uh, hypnosis, hypnotist guest. Now they will be called the hypnosis hero. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, let's see, host chat public. Uh, I'm going to share a link to that. If you want to, if you want to grab that, uh, you want to grab that, that, uh, that app. It's got a bunch of, it's got a bunch of hypnosis and meditation recordings for you. Uh, let's see. Second, Brian. I, 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 yeah. Let's see. I'm, I'm looking at the Facebook one on the, on the opposite screen here. Yeah. And if I think if you, when you tried to make that edit, something got changed and it says it's for tomorrow at 3 a.m. Oh, that came up anyway. That's some, there's another one on there. Scroll down. There's another one on there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's really, um, so, so, so all those invites that I sent out, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Whoops. Sorry, um, th uh, yeah. I don't know what happened. You know, there's always some kind of technological difficulty, and uh, and instead of just, I should have just canceled all of it. There's there's two streams scheduled. Anyway, the folks at home, they don't care um, unless they're <laughs> fellow live streamers. So anyway, there's there's like two scheduled. Hopefully, you all catch the right one. Um, so Brian, your week, sure. how's it been? Dealing with difficult people. Oh, I've, been, okay. I've been talking myself off the ledge. I've been talking other people off the ledge. I've been talking the ledge to stay in place and not fall out from underneath us. <laughs> Nothing but good times. Good times indeed. Hey, if you're out there, you're watching, you want to come, you want to pop on, you want to get hypnotized, or you just want to say hi, like I see Mark out there. If you just want to say hi, even just um, click on this link. I'm going to pop a link down there. That's only if you're watching uh, today. This is Friday the 20th. That's about 7.30 ish p.m. If you're watching, this is app.live. Jump on there. Join us. We'd love to say hi. Um, and if you want to get hypnotized on the screen, you can do that as well. So difficult people. Um, I understand people can be can be difficult. You know, I was, um, what's his name now? He's a, he's a very famous guru right now. Um, I cannot remember his name for some reason. Shoot. He's, he's kind of really popular on TikTok and stuff right now. And he was talking about, he told a story. It was really awesome. Um, it's, um, God, what is his name? Ah, anyway, if somebody knows who I'm talking about, he's this Indian guru. He's, uh, he's blown up on TikTok and YouTube and stuff. And, uh, anyway, he, uh, this is what he says. He said, somebody came to him one time and said, what do I do? You know, I'm having so much difficulty working with, with these, these, these people. They're, they're so difficult. And he said, well, if you want to work with perfect people, you have to go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, you're, yeah. you're talking about the Indian guy. It was like Dinesh de <laughs> Uh No, but, not that one. I don't know. I can't know. It's, it's like a one name. He's a one namer. Um, some, uh, Shoot. Gandhi. Uh, hey, Becca's here again. No, not Gandhi. This is a, this is a current guy. Oh, okay. Right. Becca, good to see you. Nice to see you. 
Uh, we're trying out, we're going back to the old, the, the old new platform. We're uh, trying that out again, having a little bit of technical difficulties, but you can see the comment snake. So every time you comment, you get to be the first in the, the you get to be the head of the snake. That's what it is. The, the leader of the pack. The leader of the pack. Indeed. Indeed. What kind of hypnosis stuff's been going on for you this week? Anything? Oh, a lot of just woosah. <laughs> Dealing with customer service people is... I, I, I try to just be as patient as I can and be like, all right, I've 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 been on the other end of those phone calls, but... You know, sometimes you just, I, I was talking to one, one lady today on it's like the, the Wi-Fi and I was like, so we process the payment on your website. I got a confirmation number from you guys and then you can't see the confirmation of the payment and you're saying that it's automatic. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I do not have enough drugs in the area. To wrap my head around that <laughs> so yeah it's uh a lot a lot of face palming but you know mm -hmm. su such as life you know it's you know, remember it, it's, it's it's like the tide you know it ebbs and flows you know you you, gotcha. you deal with an adjuster you do some negotiation all right cool then you get paid life is good and then you know it's on to the you know the next case or the next step of the, the stuff that's that's getting closed. So you're yeah. you're, you're you're up next. I'm gonna go yes. flip through a bunch of stuff, but yeah. That's the that's cool. the plan for the weekend. So um uh, I just want to say hi Nora. She said hey friends thanks Nora for joining us tonight. Nora good, good to see, see you. you again. Long time watcher listener uh she's been on the show before so that's fantastic. Remember everybody drop your links Mark you want to drop your link Mark helps uh entrepreneurs and hypnotist, other hypnotists to uh, increase their uh, their business. Nora, of course, I love the work she's doing. She helps, I mean, this woman, Brian, I don't know if you're familiar with, with what she does, but she does so many things. She's really active in her community. She's also, uh, she's got these painting uh, classes that she teaches. She's also a hypnotherapist. Mm -hmm. She's also, uh, what else does she teaches? I mean, what else she do, Nora? She does everything. Really, she, does everything. Uh, she, she, she works with veterans. I, I know one guy, goofy looking person that that's uh, right yeah that, uh, you you referred her to yeah but uh yeah in, incredibly she's grateful for the work that she's done yeah oh that reminds me so um you know about the pacific northwest hypnosis conference um i will be shown are, are you asking me or one second uh you are so kind i don't know why that's saying no 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 um um Oh, I see. The comment comes on automatically. That's why. Um, yeah. So, no, I'm super excited because, you know, I had forgotten about this. So, the you know, the Pacific Northwest Hypnosis Conference is coming up in June. You're familiar with that, Brian, right? Yeah, I've seen I've seen some of your posts yeah. on that. Yeah. You've been pretty um, excited. And so, yeah, the, the keynote speaker for that is Carl Smith. Now, he was actually in uh, Special Forces in uh, whatever, they, in, in Britain. I don't know what they, their, their specific term for they call it, but I think it's uh, still special. De depending on it, I, I know the, the the SAS, the Special Air Service, is like they're counter terrorist, but they've got like special boat service and yeah, a variety of different special operations. But uh, yeah, definitely good stuff out there. I like them already. Yeah, well, he saw a lot of combat, um, and I believe in Afghanistan. I think like you did. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Maybe we'll have him on the show sometime. Although for him, he's not like Becca. He's he's in UK and he's he's probably in bed way before now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, he's also a police officer for a number of years, and he went through a really tough time with PTSD, and um, and he went and got therapy for it, hypnosis for it, and um, and he now. Well, could, could, could 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 you imagine like the, the some some of the, the law enforcement over in in, in UK and Britain, England, you know, yeah, cho choose your flavor. They're running around unarmed. Dude, I can't even imagine. I can't even I, imagine I, what that's I, like. I can't wrap my head around that. I'm like, I know. The, I know. The, the, the vest only covers you, you know, <laughs> so much. And, and there's a whole lot of, uh, right. you know, and, and a lot of their crime out there is with, you know, pokey, stabby stuff that vests don't do too, too hot with. Right. Um, yeah. You know, 
me, me I'm, a, I'm a firearms guy and I kind of like having that standoff distance where I can communicate, you know, I do not consent um, from afar. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so that's that's exciting. He's going to be the keynote speaker at the conference and, um, and maybe even doing a class or two for the, you know, we've got the base down there. New, new uh, base liberty. So, um, the, wait, wait. I, I thought he's coming Pacific Northwest in Tac like the Tacoma area. Yeah, yeah, Tacoma. But I was just oh, saying that, that we've got the uh, yeah, joint he's, joint, he's, joint base Lewis McCord is down there. It's yeah, Liberty uh, Fort, is. Oh, Fort, oh, I was thinking Fort Bragg was Fort right, Bragg right, is right, is going to be right, named right. Fort, Fort Liberty, Liberty, and I like that. I'm, I think it's good. I know you're uh, living. Yeah. It's it's like, I God, I could I could go on for hours about this, but it's like, look, we have history, right, wrong, indifferent, good, bad. All you're doing is just like, it's like like I understand the the premise, I understand the purpose. Sure, I'm on board with that, but what really, quite frankly, just chaps my ass about it is is it's like, you mean to tell me? This is what we're spending our tax dollars on. A research, like all the hoopla stuff that goes into a name change and, you know, everything else. It's like we, there's not other bigger fish that we need to fry and, and you know, uh, bigger skeletons in our closet that we've got to go clear out of our own country and our own nation, you know. But, hey, it's... Who, who we all elected, allegedly. We have, we have <laughs> trillions. We have trillions of dollars to spend. Uh, what's another few billion to, to do some name research? You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> oh, it, I, I, I was watching the national debt calculator, and it's like by the time we're done with like our hour long broadcast, it's like there went another hundred million dollars. It's I, I want to say it's like probably yeah. fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. That it's just ticking up like every yeah. couple seconds. So throw us a couple of bucks there, would you, uh, government? Uh, so how do we get a how do we get a grant? How do we get something like that going? Anyway, let's move on. So hypnosis yeah. stuff. So if you have questions, if you have comments about hypnosis, looks like we've got a lot of uh, regular viewers tonight. Uh, actually, we've got quite a few. We've only got three showing up. So hey, if you're watching right now, drop down, drop your uh, drop your location. We want to know where you're watching from. Becca Rose thinks it's strange to me that you, specifically you, Brian, carry a gun around everywhere. Um, <laughs> America. Be, because, because America, and, and we can. Um, it's, I, I, I call it the great equalizer. You know, big, you know, you, you've got teeny, tiny, small, you know, 100-pound soaking wet woman who's being threatened, and she pulls out that little ballistic buddy blaster of hers and says, no, thank you, sir. You know, you can... You know, somebody who, who outweighs you by 100 pounds and then some and, and is a foot, and a, you know, some change taller, you know, you're able to level that playing field pretty quick. Definitely. But Definitely. but there, there's also a, a responsibility and a mental mindset behind it. Sure. Um, that, uh, you know, it's just becoming familiar and comfortable with it. It's, you know, it's, another, it's, it's, it's another tool like like hypnosis. Indeed. Indeed. Great question. Um, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mark. Mark. Mark, yes. <laughs> Mark says, who's presenting at the PNW Hypnosis Conference? Brian, um, Mark, I'm so glad you asked. We have so many incredible people. You know, oddly, Nora did not submit. She's, she wants to take some time off. Um, she's going to visit a friend, I think it was. Um, so she didn't want to be uh, bogged down with responsibility. Makes sense. <clears throat> but we do have Rob DeGroof. He's a uh, he's a well known uh, he's a golfing guy. Like I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he also is a mentalist. I mean, all kinds of great stuff. And uh, I'm just I'm just looking over the, the schedule right now. I mean, we got oh, just so many fantastic people. <laughs> that's 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 end of May, beginning of <coughs> of June, right? First part of June, June third, June fourth, right here in the Pacific okay. Northwest. It's uh, Tacoma, Washington. Um, what do we got? So I'm just going to hit some of the go, Dan Goyette talking about recording, making recordings. Justina, love her. Um, self love and self care. We got Janie Coulter. She's coming up from Oregon to do the, to do it. 
Um, I, there's, I couldn't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bore everybody with everybody that that's going to be there, but a couple of ones that are, that are just jumping out at me. My good friend, Gwendolyn K, <clears throat> my good friend, Gwendolyn K. And I got to tell you folks, if you're in the Phoenix area, if you happen to be watching this, I'm doing a, a seminar success seminar with my good friend, Gwendolyn K. She's a speaker. Also, she speaks at a lot of, um, hypnosis conferences I actually just started, Brian. She just started and she is really just tearing it up. I've been telling her for years to do this. Um, we well, go check out my success seminar. It's uh, February 11th down in Phoenix. Oh, good stuff. Oh, that's why I'm sorry. That's right. She's meeting a uh, relative for the first time. That's what Nora's doing. <coughs> so, um, she's going to be learning from the best who else want to make sure we know about that's going to be there. A lot of folks I don't know. Oh, Luke Howard's going to be there. Now, Luke Howard, he's um he's a really big street hypnosis guy. He also does some stage, I think. Uh, and Tracy Gray, she's a fantastic mentalist and stage hypnotist. Evan Baumgartner is going to do some good stuff. So really, oh, and then Patrick, um, Mary Lee LeVay, who's kind of a superstar here in the Northwest. And probably across the world, but at least here. So we got a lot of big names. Thanks for asking, Mark. Uh, very excited about that. Um, cool. Also, we've got a another conference coming up. A, the uh, the Grant and I are putting on. I don't know if I did I mention this last time. The uh, doing the uh, performing hypnosis um, virtual summit. So if you're into that kind of thing, uh, you'll want to check that out when we get that link up. A lot of stuff. And then Grant's uh, is Grant coming on next week? Is that? Oh my God! Thank you for reminding me. Yes, yeah. the incredible Grant Saunders. He is a. Uh, Becca probably knows him because it's a small country over there. So she's probably mm -hmm. met him. They probably had lunch. Um, they probably went to school together. Who knows? Uh, Follow one another on TikTok. Who, who knows? Right. Exactly. Uh, Grant Saunders, you know, world-renowned um, um, stage hypnotist, uh, speaker, hypnotherapist. He's going to be uh, on the show next week. Excited about that. That's how pretty he thinks you are. Is he's willing to get up at... Be Becca, what time is it over there? It's like ungodly 30 in the morning. They're eight hours ahead of us. I know because I have meetings with Grant frequently, and it's uh, uh, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 so 4 o'clock in the morning. Good Lord. Oh, she God. said she got a nap in, though. So, hey, does anybody have a uh, – does anybody have a – so um, tonight we were supposed to have Wendy Freeze in. I, I think I've updated everything, so it doesn't show it now. But if you looked at the, the announcement earlier, Wendy Friesen was going to be on the show. She unfortunately had, had an emergency come up, so we're going to try to get her back in sometime in February because we're already booked this month. And uh, so we'll look forward to having her. And if you're not familiar with Wendy Freeze, and she's she's really she's um, I mean, Brian, I've been watching her stuff since the '90s. She's been around for doing hypnosis almost 30 years. Crazy. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, it's always nice to get the female hypnotists on here because you know obviously there's not as many of them as uh, mm -hmm. well. I shouldn't say obviously, but as far as I know, actually, it's pretty, probably a pretty good mix. I probably just don't know them all. Anyway. Yeah, um, I mean, there's, oh, there's yeah. Lot, pl pl no, no shortage of people that that need help with either success or weight loss, you know, you, you name it. It's like saying, Hey, there, there's uh, people who, you know, change tires and stuff like that, where it's like, yep, there's plenty of work to go around. Sure and, is. And plenty of people yeah. who do it. Absolutely. So we're going to try and get, uh, yep. Almost 4 AM out there in uh, jolly old England. So he's going to get up early or stay up late. I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I talk to him sometimes he'll respond to messages at like, 2 a.m. and it's 6 a.m. So who knows? Brits don't sleep, apparently. Hi hypnotists just go, okay, and sleep. And, and then they go, <laughs> okay, and wake up. Exactly. <laughs> and all right, Jim, be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Oh. It's... So, hey, if you've, you're out there, you're watching right now. If you have a request, if you have something uh, that you'd like us to focus on tonight, we'll be doing some uh, some hypnosis tonight. So, um, would, would, would we be completely out of line to to kind of give a little bit of a of a preview, if you will, kind of like what of, what uh, what uh, oh god, her her name just blanked. Hmm. I just hypnotized myself. Our, our guest that was supposed to join us. Oh, preview. Oh, absolutely. Like, kind of yeah. cover what uh, what what she was going to go over, and that way when we get her rescheduled, yeah, uh, folks. Gotta see what, what folks can look forward to. Yeah, you know, if you Google her, folks, if you just Google her, you're gonna see she pops up all over the place. So she's been on a lot of TV shows, a lot of magazine covers. Um, you know, I watched. I remember, like, gosh, I think when I got, first started doing hypnosis uh, professionally, 
fucking 10, 12 years ago, she was doing some uh, some uh, street hypnosis stuff online, showing how to. It was basically having fun at a party with hypnosis. So she was she was doing this long before uh, like a lot of people were were doing it. So that's oh, kind of like, cool. It's like what I do. Yeah, I I go go goof around it at, at the bar and. You know, a lot of people yeah. are like, you can't do that. I'm like, <laughs> hold my beer. Exactly. Yeah. She's also, uh, so she's got a great story. She, and I want to, I, you know, I don't know the whole story, but I just know the highlights it. She was mm-hmm. a single mom of two kids, flat broke. And she went from that to being world renowned hypnotist, Wendy Friesen, who now lives in Kona. She just moved to Kona, I think a year ago or something. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. No, that's obviously she was doing something right. Living in Hawaii is not cheap. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, so yeah, she, looking forward she, to that. She, she mastered the art of buy low, sell high. <laughs> it exactly. sounds like. Yeah, and she's got you know she's got just tons of digital products out there. So, um, a lot of people are probably familiar with her digital products for MP3s, you know, hypnosis mm-hmm. recordings, uh, or even CDs and cassettes back in the well, we're talking thirty years. Uh, so they somebody's probably had some of her stuff, and if. Um, Looks like Becca's going to join. Fantastic. Oh, uh, let me let's see. Let me get the guest link. If somebody wants to join, you want to get hypnotized live on the screen, or if you just want to say hi, we welcome you right here every Friday night, 730. Yeah. And if, um, d- d- depending on what's what's going on in, in Becca's house, if she's got the ability to uh, – one, one, if the Internet cooperates, and two mm-hmm. – um, if she's got the ability to talk, you know, if we, if we need to call an audible tonight, I think it's a, a lovely, lovely idea to kind of get her, her feedback and let her share her experiences of actually kind of, I don't want to say like, she's a little bit of a hypnosis junkie, but a little bit of a hypnosis junkie that, that she sees some of the benefits and, and things. And even almost like on a recreational side, just yeah. how, how it's helpful and hopefully she can dispel uh, some myths that that people who are watching either now or or later, uh, right, might might have some concerns with. Absolutely, and I was just talking to my friend Deanna too. If she's out there and she, if she wants to jump on and chat a little bit about her experience of of consuming hypnosis and then also um, uh, being a practitioner, she's kind of a junior a junior hypnotist herself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which doesn't mind me saying it that she's been practicing. So yeah, Becca, jump on uh, whenever you're ready. Um, if anybody else, uh, as I say, wants to jump on, we'd love to have you on tonight or next week, whatever. Yeah, I think we've got. If it. you're out there watching, don't be silent. Uh, drop a link. Tell us. Uh, drop a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. It's always kind of fun to see where people are watching from. We're going to start the hypnosis. Um, depending, you know, maybe 10, 20 minutes, something like that. We're going to chat with Becca when she pops on. If she does, if she doesn't get on the next few minutes, we'll probably just go ahead and start. Um, without her. So Becca, if you're going to join, um, please do. Otherwise forever hold your peace. As they say, I do want to see, can I, um, I I can share this. I just want to show everybody. So if you're, if you're out there and we, you know, we, we welcome your questions. We love to have you ask your questions about hypnosis and, um, um, I'll get to that. <laughs> so, um, you know, you're welcome to ask us questions. We'd love to answer your questions. You can also watch my TEDx talk. If you can't be hypnotized, you lose. Go check that out. Um, it'll answer a lot of your questions um, about hypnosis. So I just want to pop that up there. So let's Google my name, Jim Kellner, TEDx. It'll show. Yeah, that was, oh. that was a great video. I've sent that to a, a bunch of people. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Really, thank you. It was really, really fun. Hey, oh, someone's hitting below the belt. <laughs> um, I do want to say, uh, yeah, so Amanda Melissa Dodd, uh, who I thought was a good friend of mine, turns out she's a friend of me, um, wanted to paint a pineapple for me tonight at the uh, oh. Paint Your Way Out. That's uh, that's Nora. Um, that's uh, Nora. Nora. That's her class she teaches. I guess Amanda lives nearby. Um, Zolita is on, I guess. I don't know. I don't see Zolita. Um, hi, Zolita Grant. I don't see her. Uh, maybe I she's over on Facebook. Go look on Facebook, Brian. See, is that? Um, uh, it is uh, awesome. Well, Z- Zolita, if you're on, comment, and I can respond through uh, Facebook on the other screen here. 
Becca is ready to share screen. So wait, what is going on over here? She's got a lot of different things going on. Um, uh, find, find whatever the one is her camera for her. Go to take, take her shared screen off. Shared screen off. Okay, that's what she's doing though. She's saying shared screen, so I don't know. Um, maybe she's trying not to be seen or something. I don't know. Try not to share your screen, um, I think, because I don't think you have to if you come on like this. It's so confusing. Sorry, everybody. We'll get this worked out. Um, so those of you that are watching right now, drop a comment down below for something you'd like to, um, something you'd like us to focus on tonight for the hypnosis. I'm happy to do that. Help you with stress. Help you with sleep. Whatever. I did want to, uh, there she comes, maybe, maybe. It's always a lot of fun when we have somebody join. Uh, apparently she's having trouble uh, connecting, I think, so that's a bummer. Um, I did want to tell you too, you know, I get so many people, I get so many, if you have any kind of trouble sleeping, folks, uh, I got to tell you, I have this fantastic, apparently it's fantastic, I get so many great reviews about this, this recording, and it's only 18 bucks, go check it out. It's um, really, it's fantastic. So I'm just going to drop the link for you down here. Becca, where are you at? What's going on? Oh, okay. it, it could be a rural internet out there. She's confused. We're using a new platform, Becca. Sorry about that. Um, just jump on. Just hit the link. And did, did you have to do anything, Brian, or did it just happen, right? No, I, I I jumped on, mm -hmm. and it was like, do you want to join? You know, you want to create an account? Do you want to join as a guest? Do you want to join with yeah. Facebook or whatever? And I just went, yeah, Facebook, this is cool. And yeah. it just popped me right in. So, um, Join as a guest, Becca, or, or go through Facebook, whatever you like. I, I'm thinking it might be, <clears throat> might be some internet or... Or perhaps some hardware issues. Could be. But there we go. You you take that, and then I will see if I can't get with her on on messaging, and okay. we can't sort this Sounds out. That's good. Yeah, get, hip, hypnotize Mark. Pineapple Mark, on look into, pizza. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes right now, Mark. I've tried to cure so many people of this horrible and heinous habit that uh, it's difficult because um, Nora goes around. Nora goes around, and she just undoes all my work. She makes them like pineapple pizza again. It's very frustrating. Actually, what we need to do... Oh, God, what, what was uh, the the NLP guy that we had on? Uh, the, yeah, Bob Bob Martin. Bob, yeah. what, what you need to do is take a page out of Bob's book and start going, wouldn't that be great if the <laughs> pineapple was replaced with bacon? Yeah, exactly. That crispy, crunchy, <laughs> awesome, delicious bacon. It tastes like... Right. makes the pizza taste like freedom. <laughs> exactly. Um, so there's uh I'm not sure what's uh what's doing with Becca. Well, we don't want to wait around yeah. too long because I know there's other people watching. So um Becca, let's try and get you to maybe maybe pop on a little early next time. We'll try to get you on before we start the show so we can make sure we've got you on the the, the screen with us. Appreciate you trying though. Oh, bacon pineapple pizza, Nora says. Oh my goodness. That's just Terrific. No, no, Nora, we, we still want to be friends. Bacon and pepperoni. Yes. Bacon, yes. bacon and pepperoni. That's a good combo. Maybe some jalapenos. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, sorry, Becca. Thanks for trying. Hey, and if you still, if you're able to get on a bit a bit later, that's great. We'll still you just sit there and, and listen to our voices. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll work with her on and, and kind of troubleshoot stuff. So if I need to mute myself and I go quiet, that's why. Sounds good. That I'm responding so, to to comments. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, if you want to comment, comment. Brian is uh, Brian's over there. He's rep replying to comments. Um, I wanted to look over. Did you check out the? Uh, I'll be honest. I don't even know what's going on tonight with the Facebook. The, the Facebook because it's so f uh, whew, ah, screwed up. Sorry, it's so screwed yeah. up. Yeah. Um, now we're all adults platform. here. You know, it's, I, I'm sorry, this platform, you know, I thought I had it figured out. It wasn't, it's just being a pain. So anyway, all right, we're going to get started without further ado, unless anybody wants to ask questions, comments. Also, if you watch this later, 
please drop your comments down below. If I see them, sometimes they show up and sometimes they don't. I don't know exactly why that is, but uh, like sometimes the comments will show up over here, Brian, that we're seeing right now. And then when I will try to watch them, when I try to answer them later, gone. But hmm. if if I see your 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 comments and stuff, I will absolutely respond to them. I will answer your questions. We'll do it right here on the show. So if you have questions later on about hypnosis, please drop them, um, and we'll be happy to to do that. So let's just tonight. Let's just focus on a real nice, quick stress reduction um, uh, process, and um, and maybe maybe uh, give you the opportunity to let go of those things that you need to let go of, like uh, you know, pineapple pizza. <laughs> all right i'm, um, I'm going to work on uh troubleshooting something here so i'm gonna right, mute great. myself real quick great now i don't typically just go with uh just a standard um what do you call it progressive relaxation now um i am teaching a class of hypno thoughts called analyze this if you're a hypnotist out there and you're just using progressive relaxation and those types of inductions i really encourage you to find out more about inductions because that's not actually the best induction um, for everybody. And we've talked about that on the show before. So for some folks, you know, maybe using an element induction or a confusion induction um, or an overload induction is gonna be better. Uh, people that are analytical, people with ADHD, they're not gonna like the progressive relaxation usually. So um, you'll just have more, you'll just have, you know, have better client experience and more effective client experience if you try out a different induction. Tonight, I'm going to just do a progressive relaxation. We're gonna go for, let's go for a walk in the beach because I'd really like to go for a walk on the beach myself. So if you'll just start by taking a few relaxing breaths. And just allow yourself to sink down into that surface beneath you. And just imagine letting go of all outside sounds and distractions. It's going deeper and deeper into relaxation. Good. And you could focus, if you'd like, on just releasing what needs to be released and embracing what needs to be embraced. And you could focus on your goals, your intentions. And of course, if you're driving or moving around, you're highly cautioned not to do that. You need to be sitting or lying down, a quiet place, without disruptions. And let's just have some fun tonight. Let's just go on a virtual vacation. So prepare yourself for this vacation by closing your eyes or just focusing on an object a few feet away from you, maybe a 10 feet away from you. It's all up to you. And just let those eyes get drowsy and blurry. And just allow your breathing to become slower, deeper, more comfortable. Good. And just make a scan through your entire body, becoming aware of any points of tension. And just imagine letting those go. Imagine a big giant wave of relaxation going from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet and to the tips of your fingers. And now, Just imagine. Imagine that you're resting. You wake up from a dream. You find yourself on a beautiful pathway leading down to a beach down below. And this is a nice paved walkway that you can walk down, or perhaps you'd like to walk on the grass instead. Either way, you can feel the pressure of your feet 
on that surface beneath you. Notice how it feels as you leisurely walk down to that beach in the distance. And maybe there's a few people around or maybe there's no one around at all. And even as you start walking down to the beach, you can smell the ocean air. You can feel the sun on your face. Feel the smile on your face. Gently walking. Perhaps you can hear some birds in the distance. And you start to feel light and airy. And just allow every word that I utter to guide you a little deeper into relaxation, deeper into hypnosis. Just walking and walking until you come to the, to the beach. And it's that perfect kind of sand that you like. Maybe it's that beautiful white sand or the black sand or just your regular everyday brown sand. But it feels so comfortable pressing into your feet. Notice how the sand hugs your feet as you gently, easily walk through it. And as you walk comfortably by, you can look out at the ocean. You can hear the waves crashing on the beach. And just notice how they go in and out. In and out. In and out. And perhaps you'd like to go walk into the water. It's all up to you. Perhaps you'd like to go in up to your ankles or knees. Or maybe you prefer to just walk along in the sand. Remember that you are in control. You're in control at all times, physically, mentally, emotionally. And so you truly are free to and capable of creating all kinds of changes in your life. Perhaps today you're simply relaxing, letting go. Because it feels so good to just let go. The only sounds that you can hear is the sound of my voice and those sounds there on the beach. And as you continue watching, you look over and you see there's a wonderful lounge chair, just the kind that you like. And you can go sit down comfortably in that lounge chair. Feel that lounge chair pressing against your body. Nothing else to think about, nothing else to do, just enjoying these few moments to yourself. And perhaps there's a cool drink right there beside you. It's yours to drink. And it's filled with hypnosis. It's a hypno colada. There's no alcohol, there's no drugs, it's just Hypnosis, and the bigger drink you take, the deeper you go into hypnosis. The bigger the drink that you take, the deeper and further you go. All the way down now. All the way down. Resting. Relaxing. Feeling so Wonderful. Feeling so good. That's right. You're doing perfectly. Just relaxing and letting go. Perhaps your mind begins to wander. And perhaps 
It wanders to other times, other places. Perhaps you find that you begin to dream. Good. And as you're dreaming there on the beach, just relaxing, feeling safe and comfortable, knowing that everything's going to be okay. You begin dreaming, and in your dream, you meet someone. And it becomes so real that it feels like they're right with you. And, and perhaps this person in your dream is a very wise person. Maybe it's someone you've never met, or perhaps it's someone that you know or have known. Maybe it's a loved one that has passed on, a favorite grandparent or parent or an old friend. Perhaps it's another version of yourself that seems to be living in the future your future life. And maybe there's things that you want to ask them and things that they want to tell you. And it may become clear that there are messages that you need to hear today in this hypnosis session. Profound messages. Good, that's right. That's right, you're doing perfectly. Some wisdom there. Maybe there's something you've been struggling with. You know that thing that you've been wondering about, that thing that you're not quite sure about, that decision you're wanting to make, that change you're wanting to make, that goal you're wanting to reach, that wise person has some wonderful advice for you. And because you trust them, you decide that it's beneficial to take their advice. And I wonder what you would need to do to fully integrate that advice into your thoughts, into your life right now. I wonder what you would need to do. Right here, right now. to fully integrate that advice into your life. So that as early as tomorrow, as early as awakening from this session, begins to have an effect on you. You also find that stress and tension simply melts away right here, right now. And any time that you need to, you come right back to this hypnotic session and, and you listen. And each time you listen to it, it has an even more profound effect on you. You're finding more and more wisdom contained in this hypnosis session. More and more wisdom. More and more great advice. Good, that's right. It feels so good to just let go. Now in a few moments, it'll be time to return and if there's anything else that you need to let go of, you can do that now. In the coming days, weeks, months, and years, you're finding that it's easier than ever to just live your best life. You're finding that the more difficult the situation you're facing, the more challenging the person you're dealing with, the more relaxed you become. You've realized that you handle every situation, every person more effectively and more efficiently, the more relaxed you are. Soon people are coming to you and asking you how you stay so calm under all situations. Perhaps you just smile and thank yourself for the work that you're doing right now. And you find that you're 
beginning to wake from your dream. Suddenly finding that any time in your daily life, you can come right back to this calm, wonderful place in your mind. Simply by counting yourself down, five, four, three, two, one, with the intention of going into this relaxing place. No matter where you are or what you're doing, you find that you can relax completely just by setting the intention to go to this relaxing place and then counting down five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. You take that with you as you continue your journey of waking up out of this beautiful, wonderful, incredible dream. And as I count from one to five now, you'll find that you awaken, refreshed, revitalized, unless it's a time for sleep and relaxation, in which case you can go right back to that dreamy, drowsy, wonderful place. Remembering anytime you need to go there again, you simply count down five, four, three, two, one. And when you're ready to come back, you count yourself up one, two, three, four, five. So as I say one, you start to come back feeling calm, refreshed. Two, maybe wiggling your fingers and toes a bit, getting some energy back in there. Three, perhaps wiggling your fingers and toes a bit as you stretch and move the body. Four, feeling more confident. Good. And then when you're ready, but only when you're ready, five, come all the way back, remembering what you want to remember, forgetting what you want to forget, but remembering what you need to take with you to live your very best life totally free of stress, gone now. All right, thank you for joining us for that hypnosis session, going to the beach. Ah, I'm feeling relaxed now, Brian, how about you? Okay, now you can hear me. No, I'm I'm scrambling around looking to try to look stuff up on the online going. How did that countdown clock timer thingy pop up and why why is YouTube and Facebook running anywhere between you know ten and like thirty five seconds behind? Hmm. Weird. It's because it's I, I've got all the on the other screen I've got what's what's playing what's being broadcast i've got that showing and it's muted you know, but i can still still respond to comments through there but uh i'm sitting there just going like, sorry I, I this uh this platform one of the so, things i like about it is a bunch of widgets and uh the timer is one of the widgets so oh did you did you you've got a touch screen on your computer and you're yeah, like I oh just, let me, i can just it, Yep, turn there something it is. on inadvertently. Yep. Oh, oh, I'm scrambling, like sorry. trying to check everything. Going like, are we still broadcasting? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to uh, use that to tell me when. Because when we're not live, yeah. When, when we're not live, I'm like, okay, cool. You and I can just yeah. talk like a normal video chat, and then that really threw me for a loop. And then trying to help Becca with her uh, right. computer screen, she's like, <laughs> she's like, I I go to to join, and she goes. Both you and Jim go away, and I just see blue screens. Just like mm. when you click on her thing, it pops up as a blue screen, and I'm like, "There's something wrong with weird the the universe yeah. today." So, thank you, Nor, for for your thank you. Um, please drop a comment. Let us know what that was like for you, uh, whether it was great or awful. Um, whatever, I'd love to hear your feedback one way or the other. Um, I can take it. Um, 
the timer was hypnotizing. Interesting. Ah, yeah. it's not a fault. It's a feature. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we meant to do that. <clears throat> that's that's Jim being pretty, you know, <laughs> messing with me. Didn't occur to me that you didn't know about it. So sorry, it caused you any undue stress. No, I'm sitting there going I'm like, relaxed, and you're going ah. I'm like trying to send you messages, going, "What the hell is yeah. that?" Oh, I, I didn't even look at the host chat. We need to come up with some hand signals. Um. <laughs> I, I figured it would be distracting. You're trying to be like, "Okay," and everybody yeah. woos saw and be calm, and I'm sitting here jazz hands like I'm having a seizure, and <laughs> that that, that, that would some kind of signals. You'd probably be going, yeah, I, like, I, I, Brian, stop. It's the story of my life. <laughs> so, um, hey, we're going to get out of here. Um, but please join us next oh, week. Be Becca Grant Saunders will be on. Yeah, go ahead. Becca's going to go away from the, the, the computer and see if she can, she can try the phone. If she can't connect and we can at least have a conversation with her. Okay, sure. Um, uh, so that's uh excellent. Um I didn't put Mars comment there. So tell, let us know what the what your uh what your thought was, uh, what your thought were thoughts were about the hypnosis session. Um my thoughts are that next time you want to do the timer thing and you're gonna play a widget or something like that, let me know that you're gonna do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. They've got follow us, um, follow and unmute. Oh, that's good. Can say unmute. Oh, very good. Can do snowfall. Sticky notes. Wait, Jim. Jim wants to do snowfalls. Jim does not want are, to do. Are that. you? Are you? <laughs> are you finally turning around? <laughs> hey, my good friend Mark up in. Uh, um, not Mark. Sean. Um, he's mind machine. Um, Mark is my other oh, good friend. Mark Harris. Uh, Canada, Mark. Yeah. Can no, yeah, Canada, yeah, yeah. No, Canada, Sean. <laughs> oh, no, Canada, Sean. That's... Mark is down in uh, Huntington Beach. Beautiful. Yeah, he doesn't have oh. to listen to the hypnosis. He's already on the beach every day. Um, so, yeah, good stuff. Mind machine. So, uh, yeah, oh. drop your uh, drop your website there, uh, Sean, Captain. Um, so, Becca's trying again. Jim wants to wear his toque. That's right. I need to wear my toque. The uh, the toque. Canadian toque. Canadian headwear, headgear, whatever. Yes. Uh, Got to find that. Start wearing it. It's been freezing cold. It was even cold in, in uh, Phoenix. I was frustrated, Brian. Frustrated. Yeah. But was it? I, I remember when, when I was stationed down there uh, south of Tucson, I got... I left South Carolina in February and then I got to Arizona and when I had left South Carolina, we, it was like two weeks before we had just come out of the field where like a couple people got some mild frostbite and some hypothermia because wow. there was like, it started raining and okay. You know, I don't mind being wet. I don't mind being cold. I just hate being both at the same time. But then, like, this ice storm came through. Wow. So, you know, all of a sudden it was like, we're all in face paint and everything. And they're like, get all that stuff off. Because when you've got, like, dark green and brown, you can't see your skin turn color from any type oh. of exposure. So gotcha. that's where some people got, you know, I mean, the all the cadre and everything. They're like, well, we can't do about something if we don't know about it. And then people didn't know what to look for. And so I'm like, okay, going out to Arizona, it's going to be hot. It's going to be dry because I've been humid and, and everything for the last several months. I get out to Arizona. It was like three days later, it snowed. And I was like, <laughs> all right. Okay. Then we had, yeah, th then it was like, we had some rain. It got, and then it got super hot. And then monsoon, monsoon season <laughs> came. And I have never experienced 95 degree weather with sideways rain with, with like with volume, just big I call it, fat raindrops that I call it the wrath of God rain. That's what it feels like. It's like Noah's Ark rain. And, and I, I thought it was like, I experienced my first flash flood <coughs> out hiking. That was mm. probably like 
the fifteenth time I was sure that I was gonna die. We're just hiking along, and then all of a sudden, like you see the like the black clouds of death, and you're like, oh, there's a storm off in the distance. Cool, hey, we can see lightning because we're kind of up on this side of the hill and we can see across the way. And but like all those mountains are kind of connected, and so we see this little trickle of water coming down through this little little wadi area that we were we were walking in and and i remembered something like on the discovery channel or i'm sure they told us something when we in process the the base and it was like get out you know like run to high ground and it, it was like this wall of of just brown wow. water that just i was like it, it sounded like like thunder because it was just crashing through like it was an Indiana Jones type wow. of thing. So, yeah. That was... All right, everybody, we're going to get out of here. Uh, thank you so much for watching, Brian. Thanks again for being such a wonderful host. Yeah, I, I just hung out and looked pretty, man. That's all you got to do. Um, so. Thanks everybody for watching, listening. Again, please drop your comments down below. Download. Next week, I am super excited for for Grant. Me too. Um, we should all be excited for Grant. Uh, please, please, please be sure and download the Hypnosis Hero app and leave a kind review, regardless of what you think a kind review is in order. All right. Take care. Be well. Be awesome. Stay free, guys. I don't know how this one, how I exit out of this one. Um, hey, guys. <laughs> The new platform. I'm, uh, and that was smooth, right? Uh, oh, here it is. All right. Thank <laughs> you, everybody.